Good afternoon. I want to thank the brave men and women who wear the noble uniform of the US Air Force for having us here today. I had the privilege to visit with some of your wonderful children at the youth center here on base. I enjoy our time together, getting to know them, and want to thank everyone who helped make this visit possible. Every child whose parents serves in our great military should be enormously proud because your mom or dad is a true American hero. In the wake of two devastating hurricanes, the world has witnessed your courage and compassion, and you have made every American proud. Americans have trust in the United States Air Force because we know you will never quit, you will never yield, and you will never fail. We know that we are free because you are brave. I know I speak on behalf of myself and my husband when I tell you we are grateful for your service. I also want to take a moment to recognize the families of those who serve. You endured the time apart, are accepted to move when new orders come in and face the uncertainty and that came in the times of need. This kind of lifestyle requires its own kind of courage and your sacrifices do not go unnoticed or unappreciated. Thank you. Please know that our gratitude is boundless and goes out to each and every one of you with unconditional appreciation. This administration will always stand with the men and women of the United States Air Force. And know now it's my great pleasure to introduce my husband, the President of the United States, Donald Trump. Thank you very much. At ease, at ease. Please sit down. Thank you, Melania, for that wonderful introduction and for being such an incredible emissary for the American people. She's become very, very popular. I'll tell you that. We're very proud of her. Thank you. 